Hello everyone, and welcome to a new thing I'm trying out for the YouTube channel. I'll be occasionally recording shorts of what's the play from various board states I come across, you know, on Twitter, on MTGO, wherever, and uh, give a short explanation of what I would do and why. Because I think, you know, five minute short explanation, sometimes you don't get that amount of time to do that in a game or a match, you know, during a tournament. Uh, usually time is a constraint. So I figure going over a bunch of these, you know, recording one every now and then, it might give some valuable insight to people to see how I think, how I approach the game. Uh, if you have an interesting decision or board state, you can tweet at me, jkyu06, on Twitter, and please share the deck list as well, as well as any, you know, like what game it is, is it post-board, is it pre-board, you know, all the relevant details. Uh, if you enjoy this sort of stuff, please check out the social links below and support the channel by commenting and subscribing to this to this channel. With that, let's get on, let's get to the first what's the play short video here on my channel. Alright, so this was submitted by uh let's see, let me get the name right. Sarah Shearing on Twitter, and she asks, what's the play? This is game one, and you don't know what your opponent's playing, but you obviously know your own deck list. So there's a lot to unpack here. Um, it's a legacy. Your opponent kept on seven cards, and they did not mulligan, and they also did not play anything on turn one. So... Generally speaking, the Ancient Tomb itself tells you a lot about the deck your opponent's likely to be playing. With Ancient Tomb Go, I would narrow down the possible decks to uh, two or three decks, really. I think it's either Moon Stompy, 8-cast, or possibly some sort of weird uh, Eldrazi variant. And based on popularity of decks, I would personally think that this is Moon Stompy. So, they did not have Chalice of the Void on one, on turn one. That makes me think they e either have a Threat or a Blood Moon on turn two. So, clearly for Dark Depths, one of the major worries for the deck is Blood Moon is a huge problem. So, we don't have a basic forest. We could go get a basic forest by casting Carp Rotation off Savannah, getting forests, and I think if you're going to do that, you probably want to cast Green Sun of Zenith as well for Dried Armor. A, I think your limitation with this hand is probably going to be casting all of your spells on time. I think you have plenty of action. And B, there's always just a chance that they top deck Chalice of Void and try to shut out your one drop. I think playing Elvish Reclaimer doesn't do very much here. You don't even have a lot of lands. Generally, Reclaimer is at its best when you have a smooth curd, everything's going correctly, your deck functions uh, perfectly. We don't have a second untapped plan guaranteed. We have the Sejuri step in our hand, which is really not ideal, and we have this 4-drop in the form of Mix and Boo, and with Heroes. So, uh, you know, I, I really think, personally, what I would do is play the Savannah, cast Crop Rotation, you could actually even get a green fetch land and fetch up the forest. And the reason to do that is that it actually contributes the to the Elvish Reclaimer getting plus two plus two a little bit faster. Then casting uh Green Sun Zenith for Dry Darver. Um so I guess that's a lot to unpack. And yeah, that's the play I would make. Uh I will personally not know how this turned out. But just based on the information given here, I think that the play I described makes the most sense. And, you know, even if we draw lands, our hand is just so stacked with action as it is. Because once you remove the Savannah uh, crop rotation, Green Sun Zenith from our hand, we still have Minx and Boo, we still have Sylvan Library, and we still have Ramunet Excavator. Plenty of action, uh, plenty of spells to cast. So I think really the limitation is not... Uh, the limitation will not be number of spells you have access to in this game. And uh, that's, that's the first What's the Play. Thanks for being here, and uh, hope to record some more real soon. Thank you.